Good morning today, starting off our day with some conditions that aren't so scary on this Halloween morning. It's cold though. We've got temperatures that are well below freezing. It's clear out there. We've got a nice view of the stars this morning too. And just all in all, not a bad start to our Halloween morning, but just more of the same, more of that cold that we really don't want to have to put up with yet so early this season. Let's take a look at some photos. Speaking of seasons, the harvest season still going, still trying to go. And we got some photos yesterday from the Cooperstown area. Alicia says they're trying to combine. You can see the wheel stuck in the muck there. And another photo from her, the bin there, also stuck in that just waterlogged soil. So... Uh, it's tough, but I'm, I'm glad that we've had some dry days lately. Today generally will be a dry day. We do have our next system moving in, bringing some snow. Temperatures obviously are cold enough for snow here in our forecast. Here's a look at the latest. You can see that we've got some clear skies with some clouds starting to move in up in the Devil's Lake area. We'll expand the view a little bit more here to show you that it is pretty quiet in the tri-state area. But first, we're going to see those clouds come in. And then behind that, you could see some snow showers. And that's all going to be working their way into the valley, maybe impacting some trick-or-treaters tonight. Speaking of impactful weather, just a quick look off to the east. A snowy Halloween for places that aren't necessarily used to it. The Chicago area, especially in the western suburbs, up into Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Milwaukee and uh, northern Michigan, they uh, oftentimes see some snow too. But again, they're, get, they're in the middle of that storm track that we are north of, that we're on the cold side of. And so we've been missing uh, those big uh, wet events that they're dealing with there. So that's the uh, flip side of having to be so cold. And temperatures right now are into the teens in a lot of spots. Fargo, 18. It's 17 in Grand Forks, 14 in Valley City. That's the cold spot. And over to the east, not so bad, into the 20s. The wind isn't very strong. That's good uh, sort of when the wind eases up overnight that lets those temperatures drop a little bit more and we did see that in some spots overnight but it also means the wind chills aren't so bad we are seeing some wind chills more into the teens and 20s in the east there are still places starting off this morning in the single digits so here's a look at your hour by hour planner again this morning we'll start with clear skies get some sunshine for the morning hours by noon Still getting some sun in Lakes Country, but as we look off to the north and west, you can see that the clouds are starting to take over there, and the wind picks up too as the system passes through. So by this afternoon ahead of it, we'll see the clouds take over, temperatures that warm up a little more, mid-30s to some low 40s, and some stronger winds. But heading up to trick-or-treat, slightly milder than we've been the last couple of days. Heading into the heart of trick-or-treat time, 6, 7 o'clock, you could see that we've got temperatures sliding into the low to some mid-30s. And don't forget to factor in the wind chills. So we're looking at winds that will be on the stronger side, gusting into the low 20s for us this evening. And that will be a factor into how it feels to be outdoors. So layered costumes, another good idea this time of year. And as we head into the evening hours, that's when the snow showers are later nighttime hours that's when the snow showers start to move in we're looking at some snow starting to build up as we head into the overnight so by the time we get into tomorrow morning you can see some areas of some light snow especially in the southern valley it looks like that will continue to part into part of the day tomorrow uh, but it shouldn't be too heavy we're looking at a dusting anywhere where you see a little bit of blue on the map this more solid area of light blue that's about an inch to two inches so can't roll out a pocket where we get about an inch of snow with this one so your halloween uh, we've seen worse, but it will be a cold one. Make sure you're ready for that. And then heading into your Friday, again, that chance for some snow. And then for the weekend, don't forget to turn your clocks back. Daylight saving time ends Saturday night and into early Sunday. Um, relatively milder will be at the uh, low 40s, though that's still below average. And then heading into next week, cooling things down after a snow system moves through on Monday. So... Again, we're right in the heart of some really cold weather for this time of year. And the farther and farther we go into the year, the harder it is, I feel, to kind of buck that trend. Right. Well, and it's just harder to warm up. We we're looking at, you know, averages dropping along with, you know, our temperatures just being cold in general. All right. Thank you, Lisa. An increasing or extra layers might mean dark jackets to keep warm, but that could pose some danger. We'll explain why it's important to be bright when out trick-or-treating up next.